Hello all, Sabello here. Welcome back to another pros and cons for Jean de Berry this one. I hope everyone's enjoying the the playlist of all the pros and cons of the various LPs. Coming out in force. Coming at you. Alright, let's jump onto the pros first about Jean de Berry, then we'll jump onto the cons. Now this is another pirate that will not hear me hype up, but I would I've gonna try my best to be positive. And negative about every single LP. As fair as it can be. So let's jump into it. The pros. Hit points and damage for defences near the legendary fort. If you can protect that legendary fort. Centralise it. Or really throw your defences down. To make sure you've got a good circumference radius around the defences. To protect it. So it can't be taken out and lose her defensive buff. She is probably one of the best defending legendary pirates going but it's not gonna happen for pirate 3 it's not gonna happen for a pirate 4 or 5 I'm currently in the process of trying to make a pirate hall 6 base design that really features the legendary fault we'll see if it comes into fruition but for now let's carry on with the pros her ability increases her attack speed and damage great she is essentially a giant buccaneer when you use their berserk ability hers is very similar but it is only for herself okay next speed with ability is one of the fastest again like the um, berserk mode on the buccaneers she gets the extra speed and she, whew, she's flying <laughs> she means business all right let's jump onto the cons then again this is the con side of things a centralized lf is required to use her effectively you want if you're a Pirate Wall 7 Plus, you want that Grand Pounder making sure it's covering that Legendary Fort. You want Mortars covering all the angles of the Legendary Fort. You want Gun Towers, Cannons, Mystic Mortars, you name it. The ship if possible too. You want it protecting that Legendary Fort so she can do her stuff. So the Mortars be doing more damage. The Cannons, they've all got bigger hit points too, so it's hard to take them out. But that's the cons for it. Her ability is for herself only, making it ineffective. It's quite selfish, isn't it, really? There's not much to her, she doesn't spawn any troops with her, which is something I'd like to see. But we'll try and stick to, to what we know for now. There's not much really you can do with her ability, it's very selfish. You, you hit the ability, she's a uh, melee type of legendary pirate, which means close up combat. And she's going to die, she's got no suitable tanks in front of her. So she's not really effective, or that effective on attack. May only be useful as a fill-in tank due to stats. Yeah, again, if, if she don't really have many um, juggernauts or brutes, bucks, skellies, whatever you want to call it in front of her, she's going to die. She's got some toughness to her. She's got okay-ish damage. But there's better tanks out there. Again, uh, if you've, I don't know, you've run out, the, the stamina's run out, you're upgrading them, you've got no other ones to use, then use her by all means, but just don't expect terrific freestyle raids of her. JDB, which is Jean de Berry, uses the same silo material as Black Bart, Shark Tooth. Yeah, that's a, that's a big problem. Black Bart is arguably one of the best defenders. I wouldn't say the best, but certainly top three defenders in the game. And probably top three, top five attackers. She is nowhere near either of them stats, apart from defense, maybe. It's arguable. So don't take the shark tooth materials away from Black Bart. Try not to upgrade her unless it's end game. I know I'm really not bigging her up much, but <laughs> it's not really much to big up. <laughs> last one, low upgrade priority due to all other cons. Yeah, I pretty much covered that in the last bullet point. There is so many better legendary pirates on attack and especially early game on defence that you can depend on, rely on, even Romeo Boomer you would prefer on defence if you're a lower pirate all level but she just doesn't offer enough on defence or attack I mean say you've got one cell remaining on a legendary fault don't, just because she's come in the trade ship don't rush to get her because you want to just fill the slot up keep that for a rarer pirate when you're legendary fault 5 or 6 and you've got space for her then get her. Please. <laughs> Do not get her. She doesn't go for a loot. She attacks any type of building. 
there is no real immediate desire to get her. There really isn't, coming from my experience and many other players. That's going to be it for her. There's no more to say than get her as one of the last legendary pirates and just for the collection purposes. <laughs> I hope this is insightful all. Thanks for watching. Please do enjoy the series and bye for now.